Nitric acid, HNO3, also known as aqua fortis, Latin for strong water, and spirit of nitre, is a highly corrosive mineral acid. The pure compound is colorless, but older samples tend to acquire a yellow cast due to decomposition into oxides of nitrogen and water. Most commercially available nitric acid has a concentration of 68% in water. When the solution contains more than 86% HNO3, it is referred to as fuming nitric acid. Depending on the amount of nitrogen dioxide present, fuming nitric acid is further characterized as white fuming nitric acid at concentrations above 95%, or red fuming nitric acid at concentrations above 86%. Nitric acid is the primary reagent used for nitration, the addition of a nitro group, typically to an organic molecule. While some resulting nitro compounds are shock and thermally sensitive explosives, a few are stable enough to be used in munitions and demolition, while others are still more stable and used as pigments in inks and dyes. Nitric acid is also commonly used as a strong oxidizing agent. Physical and chemical properties Commercially available nitric acid is an azeotrope with water at a concentration of 68% HNO3, which is the ordinary concentrated nitric acid of commerce. This solution has a boiling temperature of 120.5 degrees Celsius at one atmosphere. Two solid hydrates are known, the monohydrate HNO3H2O or H3O NO3, and the trihydrate HNO33H2O. Nitric acid of commercial interest usually consists of the maximum boiling azeotrope of nitric acid and water, which is approximately 68% HNO3, approximately, 15 molar. This is considered concentrated or technical grade, while reagent grades are specified at 70% HNO3. The density of concentrated nitric acid is 1.35 g per cc, 68% CONC. An older density scale is occasionally seen, with concentrated nitric acid specified as 42 degrees Baume. Contamination with nitrogen dioxide Nitric acid is subject to thermal or light decomposition and for this reason it was often stored in brown glass bottles. 4HNO32H2O plus 4NO2 plus O2 This reaction may give rise to some non-negligible variations in the vapor pressure above the liquid because the nitrogen oxides produced dissolve partly or completely in the acid. The nitrogen dioxide NO2, remains dissolved in the nitric acid coloring it yellow or even red at higher temperatures. While the pure acid tends to give off white fumes when exposed to air, acid with dissolved nitrogen dioxide gives off reddish-brown vapors, leading to the common name, red fuming acid, or fuming nitric acid. The most concentrated form of nitric acid at standard temperature and pressure STP. Nitrogen oxides NOx, are soluble in nitric acid. Fuming nitric acid a commercial grade of fuming nitric acid contains 90% HNO3 and has a density of 1.50 grams per cc. This grade is often used in the explosives industry. It is not as volatile nor as corrosive as the anhydrous acid and has the approximate concentration of 21.4 m. Red fuming nitric acid, or RFNA, contains substantial quantities of dissolved nitrogen dioxide, NO2, leaving the solution with a reddish-brown color. Due to the dissolved nitrogen dioxide, the density of red fuming nitric acid is lower at 1.490 grams per cc. An inhibited fuming nitric acid, either IWFNA, or IRFNA, can be made by the addition of 0.6 to 0.7% hydrogen fluoride, HF. This fluoride is added for corrosion resistance in metal tanks. The fluoride creates a metal fluoride layer that protects the metal. Anhydrous nitric acid White fuming nitric acid, pure nitric acid or WFNA, is very close to anhydrous nitric acid. It is available as 99.9% .9 nitric acid by assay. One specification for white fuming nitric acid is that it has a maximum of 2% water and a maximum of 0.5% dissolved NO2. 
Anhydrous nitric acid has a density of 1.513 g per cc and has the approximate concentration of 24 molar. Anhydrous nitric acid is a colorless mobile liquid with a density of 1.512 g per cc, which solidifies at minus 42 degrees Celsius to form white crystals. As it decomposes to NO2 and water, it obtains a yellow tint. It boils at 83 degrees Celsius. It is usually stored in a glass shatterproof amber bottle with twice the volume of head space to allow for pressure build up, but even with those precautions the bottle must be vented monthly to release pressure. Structure and bonding the molecule is planar. Two of the NO bonds are equivalent and relatively short. This can be explained by theories of resonance. The canonical forms show double bond character in these two bonds, causing them to be shorter than typical NO bonds, and the third NO bond is elongated because the O atom is also attached to a proton. Reactions acid base properties Nitric acid is normally considered to be a strong acid at ambient temperatures. There is some disagreement over the value of the acid dissociation constant, though the pKa value is usually reported as less than minus 1. This means that the nitric acid in diluted solution is fully dissociated except in extremely acidic solutions. The pKa value rises to 1 at a temperature of 250 degrees Celsius. Nitric acid can act as a base with respect to an acid such as sulfuric acid, HNO3 plus 2H2SO4 NO plus 2 plus H3O plus plus 2HSO minus 4, equilibrium constant, K approximately equals 22. The nitronium ion, NO plus 2, is the active reagent in aromatic nitration reactions. Since nitric acid has both acidic and basic properties, it can undergo an autoprotolysis reaction, similar to the self-ionization of water, 2HNO3 NO plus 2 plus NO minus 3 plus H2O reactions with metals Nitric acid reacts with most metals, but the details depend on the concentration of the acid and the nature of the metal. Dilute nitric acid behaves as a typical acid in its reaction with most metals. Magnesium, manganese, and zinc liberate H2, Mg plus 2 HNO3 magnesium nitrate plus H2 magnesium nitrate, Minnesota plus 2 HNO3 manganese 2 nitrate plus H2 manganese nitrate, Zn plus 2 HNO3 zinc nitrate plus H2 zinc nitrate, nitric acid can oxidize non-active metals such as copper and silver. With these non-active or less electropositive metals the products depend on temperature and the acid concentration. For example, copper reacts with dilute nitric acid at ambient temperatures with a 3 to 8 stoichiometry, 3 Cu plus 8 HNO3 3 Cu2 plus plus 2 NO plus 4 H2O plus 6 NO minus 3 The nitric oxide produced may react with atmospheric oxygen to give nitrogen dioxide. With more concentrated nitric acid, nitrogen dioxide is produced directly in a reaction with 1 to 4 stoichiometry, Cu plus 4 H plus plus 2 NO minus 3 Cu 2 plus plus 2 NO 2 plus 2 H 2 Upon reaction with nitric acid, most metals give the corresponding nitrates. Some metalloids and metals give the oxides, for instance, Sn, As, Sb, and T are oxidized into tin 4 oxide, as 2O5, and titanium 4 oxide respectively. Some precious metals, such as pure gold and platinum group metals do not react with nitric acid, though pure gold does react with aqua regia, a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and hydrochloric acid. However, some less noble metals Ag, Cu, present in some gold alloys relatively poor in gold such as colored gold can be easily oxidized and dissolved by nitric acid, leading to color changes of the gold alloy surface. Nitric acid is used as a cheap means in jewelry shops to quickly spot low gold alloys being a powerful oxidizing agent. Nitric acid reacts violently with many non-metallic compounds, and the reactions may be explosive. Depending on the acid concentration, temperature and the reducing agent involved, the end products can be variable. Reaction takes place with all metals except the noble metals series and certain alloys. As a general rule, oxidizing reactions occur primarily with the concentrated acid, favoring the formation of nitrogen dioxide NO2. However, the powerful oxidizing properties of nitric acid are thermodynamic in nature, but sometimes its oxidation reactions are rather kinetically non-favored. 
the presence of small amounts of nitrous acid HNO2, greatly enhance the rate of reaction, although chromium Cr, iron Fe, and aluminium Al, readily dissolve in dilute nitric acid, the concentrated acid forms a metal oxide layer that protects the bulk of the metal from further oxidation. The formation of this protective layer is called passivation. Typical passivation concentrations range from 20% to 50% by volume CASTMA96705. Metals that are passivated by concentrated nitric acid are iron, cobalt, chromium, nickel, and aluminium. Reactions with non-metals being a powerful oxidizing acid, nitric acid reacts violently with many organic materials and the reactions may be explosive. The hydroxyl group will typically strip a hydrogen from the organic molecule to form water, and the remaining nitro group takes the hydrogen's place. Nitration of organic compounds with nitric acid is the primary method of synthesis of many common explosives, such as nitroglycerin and trinitrotoluene TNT. As very many less stable byproducts are possible, these reactions must be carefully thermally controlled, and the byproducts removed to isolate the desired product. Reaction with non-metallic elements, with the exceptions of nitrogen, oxygen, noble gases, silicon, and halogens other than iodine, usually oxidizes them to their highest oxidation states as acids with the formation of nitrogen dioxide for concentrated acid and nitric oxide for dilute acid. C plus 4 HNO3 CO2 plus 4 NO2 plus 2 H2OOR 3 C plus 4 HNO3 3 CO2 plus 4 NO plus 2 H2 A concentrated nitric acid oxidizes I2, P4, and S8 into HIO3, H3PO4, and H2SO4, respectively. Xanthoproteic test Nitric acid reacts with proteins to form yellow nitrated products. This reaction is known as the xanthoproteic reaction. This test is carried out by adding concentrated nitric acid to the substance being tested, and then heating the mixture. If proteins that contain amino acids with aromatic rings are present, the mixture turns yellow. Upon adding a base such as ammonia, the color turns orange. These color changes are caused by nitrated aromatic rings in the protein. Xanthoproteic acid is formed when the acid contacts epithelial cells. Respective local skin color changes are indicative of inadequate safety precautions when handling nitric acid. Production Nitric acid is made by reaction of nitrogen dioxide NO2, with water. 3NO2 plus H2O2 HNO3 plus Nonormally, the nitric oxide produced by the reaction is reoxidized by the oxygen in air to produce additional nitrogen dioxide. Bubbling nitrogen dioxide through hydrogen peroxide can help to improve acid yield. 2NO2 plus H2O2 2HNO3 Commercial grade nitric acid solutions are usually between 52% and 68% nitric acid. Production of nitric acid is via the Ostwald process, named after German chemist Wilhelm Ostwald. In this process, anhydrous ammonia is oxidized to nitric oxide, in the presence of platinum or rhodium gauze catalyst at a high temperature of about 500 K and a pressure of 9 atmospheres. 4NH3, G, plus 5O2, G, 4NO, G, plus 6H2O, G, delta H equals minus 905.2 kJ, nitric oxide is then reacted with oxygen in air to form nitrogen dioxide. 2NO, G, plus O2, G, 2NO2, G, delta H equals minus 114 kJ per mole, this is subsequently absorbed in water to form nitric acid and nitric oxide. 3NO2, G, plus H2O, L, 2HNO3, AQ, plus NO, G, delta H equals minus 117 kJ per mole, the nitric oxide is cycled back for reoxidation. Alternatively, if the last step is carried out in air, 4NO2, G, plus O2, G, plus 2H2O, L, 4HNO3, AQ, the aqueous HNO3 obtained can be concentrated by distillation up to about 68% by mass. 
Further concentration to 98% can be achieved by dehydration with concentrated H2SO4. By using ammonia derived from the Haber process, the final product can be produced from nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen which are derived from air and natural gas as the sole feedstocks. Prior to the introduction of the Haber process for the production of ammonia in 1913, nitric acid was produced using the Birkeland aid process, also known as the ARC process. This process is based upon the oxidation of atmospheric nitrogen by atmospheric oxygen to nitric oxide at very high temperatures. An electric arc was used to provide the high temperatures, and yields of up to 4% nitric oxide were obtained. The nitric oxide was cooled and oxidized by the remaining atmospheric oxygen to nitrogen dioxide, and this was subsequently absorbed in dilute nitric acid. The process was very energy intensive and was rapidly displaced by the Ostwald process once cheap ammonia became available. Laboratory synthesis in laboratory, nitric acid can be made by thermal decomposition of copper two, nitrate, producing nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gases, which are then passed through water to give nitric acid. 2 copper 2 nitrate 2 CuO S plus 4 NO2 G plus O2 G. An alternate route is by reaction of approximately equal masses of any nitrate salt such as sodium nitrate with 96% sulfuric acid H2SO4 and distilling this mixture at nitric acid's boiling point of 83 degrees Celsius. A non-volatile residue of the metal hydrogen sulfate remains in the distillation vessel. The red fuming nitric acid obtained may be converted to the white nitric acid. Sodium nitrate plus H2SO4 HNO3 plus sodium hydrogen sulfate The dissolved NOx is readily removed using reduced pressure at room temperature 10 to 30 minutes at 200 mm of mercury or 27 kPa to give white fuming nitric acid. This procedure can also be performed under reduced pressure and temperature in one step in order to produce less nitrogen dioxide gas. Dilute nitric acid may be concentrated by distillation up to 68% acid, which is a maximum boiling azeotrope containing 32% water. In the laboratory, further concentration involves distillation with either sulfuric acid or magnesium nitrate which act as dehydrating agents. Such distillations must be done with all glass apparatus at reduced pressure, to prevent decomposition of the acid. Industrially, highly concentrated nitric acid is produced by dissolving additional nitrogen dioxide in 68% nitric acid in an absorption tower. Dissolved nitrogen oxides are either stripped in the case of white fuming nitric acid, or remain in solution to form red fuming nitric acid. More recently, electrochemical means have been developed to produce anhydrous acid from concentrated nitric acid feedstock. Uses The main industrial use of nitric acid is for the production of fertilizers. Nitric acid is neutralized with ammonia to give ammonium nitrate. This application consumes 75 to 80 percent of the 26 million tons produced annually, 1987. The other main applications are for the production of explosives, nylon precursors, and specialty organic compounds. Precursor to organic nitrogen compounds In organic synthesis, industrial and otherwise, the nitro group is a versatile functional group. Most derivatives of aniline are prepared via nitration of aromatic compounds followed by reduction. Nitrations entail combining nitric and sulfuric acids to generate the nitronium ion, which electrophilically reacts with aromatic compounds such as benzene. Many explosives, such as TNT, are prepared this way. C6H5 CH3 plus 3HNO3 C6 hydrogen nitrite CH3 plus 3H2O Either concentrated sulfuric acid or oleum absorbs the excess water. H2S2O7 plus H2O2 H2SO4 Use as an oxidant The precursor to nylon, adipic acid, is produced on a large scale by oxidation of cyclohexanone and cyclohexanol with nitric acid. Rocket propellant Nitric acid has been used in various forms as the oxidizer in liquid-fueled rockets. 
These forms include red fuming nitric acid, white fuming nitric acid, mixtures with sulfuric acid, and these forms with HF inhibitor. IRFNA inhibited red fuming nitric acid was one of three liquid fuel components for the BOMARC missile. Niche uses Analytical reagent in elemental analysis by ICPMS, ICPAES, GFAA, and Flame AA, dilute nitric acid, 0.5 to 5.0%, is used as a matrix compound for determining metal traces in solutions. Ultrapure trace metal grade acid is required for such determination, because small amounts of metal ions could affect the result of the analysis. It is also typically used in the digestion process of turbid water samples, sludge samples, solid samples as well as other types of unique samples which require elemental analysis via ICPMS, ICPOES, ICPAES, GFAA and flame atomic absorption spectroscopy. Typically these digestions use a 50% solution of the purchased HNO3 mixed with type 1D water. In electrochemistry, nitric acid is used as a chemical doping agent for organic semiconductors, and in purification processes for raw carbon nanotubes. Woodworking In a low concentration approximately 10%, nitric acid is often used to artificially age pine and maple. The color produced is a gray gold very much like very old wax or oil finished wood, wood finishing. Etchant and cleaning agent The corrosive effects of nitric acid are exploited for a number of specialty applications, such as etching and printmaking, pickling stainless steel or cleaning silicon wafers in electronics. A solution of nitric acid, water and alcohol, nitile, is used for etching of metals to reveal the microstructure. ISO 14104 is one of the standards detailing this well-known procedure. Commercially available aqueous blends of 5 to 30% nitric acid and 15 to 40% phosphoric acid are commonly used for cleaning food and dairy equipment primarily to remove precipitated calcium and magnesium compounds either deposited from the process stream or resulting from the use of hard water during production and cleaning. The phosphoric acid content helps to passivate ferrous alloys against corrosion by the dilute nitric acid. Nitric acid can be used as a spot test for alkaloids like LSD, giving a variety of colors depending on the alkaloid. Safety Nitric acid is a corrosive acid and a powerful oxidizing agent. The major hazard posed by it is chemical burns, as it carries out acid hydrolysis with proteins amide, and fats ester, which consequently decomposes living tissue, e.g. skin and flesh. Concentrated nitric acid stains human skin yellow due to its reaction with the keratin. These yellow stains turn orange when neutralized. Systemic effects are unlikely, however, and the substance is not considered a carcinogen or mutagen. The standard first aid treatment for acid spills on the skin is, as for other corrosive agents, irrigation with large quantities of water. Washing is continued for at least 10 to 15 minutes to cool the tissue surrounding the acid burn and to prevent secondary damage. Contaminated clothing is removed immediately and the underlying skin washed thoroughly. Being a strong oxidizing agent, nitric acid can react with compounds such as cyanides, carbides, or metallic powders explosively and with many organic compounds, such as turpentine, violently and hypergolically, i.e. self-igniting. Hence, it should be stored away from bases and organics. History The first mention of nitric acid is in Pseudo Gebers de Inventione Veritatis, wherein it is obtained by calcining a mixture of nitre, alum, and blue vitriol. It was again described by Albert the Great in the 13th century and by Ramon Lull, who prepared it by heating nitre and clay and called it O Forte. Aqua Fortis, Glauber devised a process to obtain it by distilling potassium nitrate with sulfuric acid. In 1776 Lavoisier showed that it contained oxygen, and in 1785 Henry Cavendish determined its precise composition and showed that it could be synthesized by passing a stream of electric sparks through moist air. References External links 
NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards National Pollutant Inventory, Nitric Acid Fact Sheet Calculators, Surface Tensions, and Densities, Molarities and Molalities of Aqueous Nitric Acid